At first, I was planning to go straight away into typical studio portrait, but I think this image needs a video because it's a great example how you can work with colors and how you can actually improve the image, which at first, when you look at this, it looks great. It has beautiful skin color, uh, a little orange, and going into the red tones over here, and also blue crystal cyan water. So it will be just amazing to work with this, how we can improve that, it already looks good. So there is a very simple method to do this. And I'm going to show you a few different methods at first. We're going to work with gradient map, and then I'm going to show you how you can split the colors. So that will be two separate parts. And how I'm going to start, um, I'm not going to use any web for my color wheel, even if it's the best color wheel, and I highly recommend you to, to use this page I was showing you before. But also in Photoshop, we can find the color um, color wheel in extensions and Adobe color themes. I'm not really using Adobe color themes, but it has this color wheel with few different uh, color harmonies, of course, like Alan Oaks, etc. However, it's not really comfortable for me. I don't like this color wheel, but it will be slightly helpful for us to check a few things right now. And I want to go with the colors that already exist on this image. So let me take a, using eyedropper, I have a brush as you can see. I'm taking the sample of the skin somewhere over here. And what I want to see, I want to see the hue. So I have the hue 16. And this hue, everywhere I go, will be somewhere around that 16, 20, 22, 24 etc. So like I want to find universal hue and the universal for this will be around this place 16, 17, somewhere around that. And I'm going to stay with this. I'm going to stay with this. But why I'm using this color wheel? As you can see, my color is already applied over here. And what I will see, I'm going to this side, the red, because we have the orange skin. And over here, down here, we have hue, saturation, and somewhere else. So the first number is hue. So I'm going to 17. The hue, I need to see 17, because that's what I choose. It can be 16, just around, around the same area, right? And then I'm going to the other side, the opposite side. And it shows me 168, around 170. So I'm going to switch the colors right now. To switch the colors, you can press X on your keyboard and I switch the colors and I have hue 170. I said this on my own, but you can also just to make sure, check which color, which color you have on the background. We'll see. I actually have this 170, 180. It's going in depends on the area. So I want to find the area or set this on my own around 170, as it was, because that will be our complementary color. One thing I'm going to do in this case, I want to just give um, a little bit more saturation for this case, because I want this background to be full of life. So when I set up my colors, I'm going to switch this once again. Why I'm switching this? Because this dark color will be responsible for the shadows, so the shadows are over here and on the skin, actually, most of the shadows exist. And the highlights will be filled with this cyan color over here and over here when we will be using gradient map. So now when my colors are already ready, I'm going to gradient map and it's filled, as I said, the shadows are filled with the this orange yellow color and the highlights mostly because big part of the water is actually yellowish. And now I'm going to change blending mode to soft light or overlay. It's really up to you. You can also go with normal and then just lower the opacity and set up your contrast. And have a look, that's before and that's after. I really love how far we got with the skin 
and how you brought up this and it's much more outstanding for me um, the one problem is still it affecting the background a little bit too much so what i would do i would use selective color in this case as i was doing before and i'm just going to get push science for greens and I will see how taking down yellow works. So also I could take some yellows for greens and also I will improve cyan. So thanks to this, I could get back the water I had. So as you can see right now, this is before and this is after and the image is much more outstanding. This is the one method and in the next lesson, I'm going to show you even more selective method separately for shadows and for highlights.